So me and I are going out on a date today. And I'm taking specifically my 17 year old self out on a date today because we are going to Disneyland or Disney World, whichever is in Orlando, I don't know. I've been to this Disney before, Disney, the, the Animal Kingdom Disney, but we got to Pandora at the very last moment with my siblings and so we didn't do any rides, we didn't really do anything. When Avatar 2 came out maybe a month ago at this point, I realized how much I loved the world of Avatar when the, the Avatar itself came out and back then I was about 17, 16 maybe. And so I remembered that I used to draw raw avatar that I used to, like it's just it was a whole thing like I loved it but then I shoved it in the deepest deepest corner of my consciousness because I realized it's not true life continues right but if I was to talk to myself at 17 right now and ask her hey do you want to go to Disneyland to see Pandora she'd be like yeah <laughs> so because Disney is like literally an hour away from me I'm going and I'm doing it alone. <laughs> but uh, yeah, basically this is the first episode of my Exploring Florida series. Although I've lived here for a year, that's weird. Truth be told, I work, so you don't really get a lot of vacation time or anything else. 28 days from, no, 28 days? <laughs> like a month from today, I'm gonna be back in Pittsburgh. <laughs> it's colder than I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> So I want to see as many places as I can before I leave. And so basically today's the first episode. Oh God, first episode of me exploring Florida. Oh my God, I almost forgot the most essential part of Disney. This is literally lifesaver. Okay, so this is like the littlest, tiniest, smallest ever propeller thing. And what it does, it connects to your phone and it cools you off. Road trip time! Being scientific here, since it is a road trip time, we gotta get some junk food for breakfast, of course, because screw the diet. Can I please get a, a large black iced coffee with just creamer? As if I needed any more energy this morning. $25 for parking. Uh, for some reason, I thought that the parking is included in ticket price, but Flight apparently right. not. Shush. So the good thing is, I mean, it's not good, it's just a thing. You don't get to really pick your parking. They direct you, they guide you where to park. I arrived here at 10 a.m. Uh, the parking is full, to say the least, and I can't even see the park from here. Like, uh, it's just, it's far, okay? People are standing there for a shuttle, and I should probably do the same. You don't even have to walk, they take you on a shuttle, apparently. But also, Ask me if I remember to bring my sunscreen. Just go ahead, ask me. Yeah. All right, so obviously my agenda for today is the Pandora, and I don't remember where it is. The good thing is I don't feel stupid filming here because everybody else is filming here. The Tree of Life is located directly in the middle of the park and it has over 300 animals beautifully curved into that tree. Is it just me or it looks kind of gross? The attention to detail, you guys. I mean, obviously all of this is handcrafted, but to bring it all to life, like some of these are real, I'm assuming others are not. Okay, so the wait is like 75 minutes. Good thing that I have a book to read. That's for the flight of passage, by the way. I didn't even say what the attraction is called. Although Disney is known for its ridiculously long lines, I gotta give them that they do try to make those lines as interesting and entertaining as possible because, as you can see, this line was 75 minutes, but along that line, you still got some entertainment in the form of some artifacts from a movie or movie-themed technological advancements and things like that. So that was pretty cool. Like, you have something to look at while you're waiting in the line for 75 minutes for that five-minute ride that you really want to see. Seal genetic matching room. Soon, you're gonna have a chance to undertake an amazing Navi rite of passage by being genetically matched and linked to an avatar. Thanks to science, avatars can ride on banshees too. The ride was fantastic. It's like 5D VR kind of setup. It made me tear up, like through the ride. Although it was like four and a half minutes long, because of how. Like, I wish this was real kind of thing. So, 
Yeah, I'm really glad that I came back for it. To be honest, I was trying to actually order real food um, instead of this because this is like super sweet. Like as a, as a snack, it's nice, but not as a meal. And it's like 1 p.m. So I wanted to get a meal, but you have to order it online on the app. And when you do that, the app would not load. So I'm starving. There's one more attraction that I want to see in Pandora itself. And I want to eat first because the wait on that attraction is 50 minutes. At first they do send you onto the app, but after 20 minutes of trying the app and it's not working, I gave up to them and I just asked them if I could just walk in and just like a normal human being pick up some of that food. But look at that food. This was amazing. This was like a sushi bowl type of situation. Those blue noodles were sushi rice noodles, some raw tuna in that salad. And then that sweet treat was actually some kind of a mousse. But as you can see, anywhere you look, it reminds you of the avatar world, that simple sushi bowl tasted really good but it also looked like it came from Pandora so that was amazing so I'm still doing this whole no sugar thing and today is obviously an exception and I've had always the smoothie and then the snack and now I'm having this thing and it's just so much sugar amazing. It's, it's just weird but I'm gonna finish it anyways of course okay I'm fully fueled and actually this app that I downloaded that wouldn't let me load uh, food options it gives you the entire map and it gives you the wait times for specific rides so right now there is one like called Expedition Everest that only has like 10 to 20 minute wait so I'm headed over there because the other Navi one is like 95 minute wait so that's a little bit too much alone some of the rides apparently have like the single rider thing which basically means if somebody else has a party of three or five and they need an even amount of people to be riding then they will take you as the extra person for the wheel basically so if you're alone i literally waited for like five minutes and i was on the ride when the actual ride wait time was like 25 minutes so that was great <laughs> what i ended up discovering is that it's easier to just hop between the islands and hop between the parks and attractions to get the ones that are sooner faster instead of having to wait 90 minutes on one 60 minutes on the other it's just easier to just like walk 10 minutes and get into a different site with a different attraction that's only taking 10 minutes for wait the fact that there is no wait is fantastic because i think it's the first one that we did last time and we had to wait literally every inch of this road but now i just get to walk it i'm also out of breath because i just ate again i also only have like 20 percent battery left on my phone the crocodile that he wrote me about 16 feet in length more than capable of crushing well jagged edges so my friends are the ones that go up hunting and that way they're probably hours usually lionesses are the ones that go out hunting the male would typically stay back and guard over their territory i'm kind of getting tired at this point but now that i've been on both of those uh, attractions the wait for the Pandora one is like 35 minutes which is not bad at all but I think it's gonna be my last thing for the day because I'm getting tired and a little cranky and I'm also dehydrated I just bought some water but I don't think it's gonna help much and while I was walking here the line raised from 35 minutes to 75 minutes rose rose the English words good day. I was a little bit 
skeptical and a little bit anxious to go by myself because this is literally the first time I do something by myself for myself ever since the breakup and so I was a little bit kind of like iffy about it because you know, you know like it's just weird I thought it was weird but then I'm like okay you know what I actually like this development I like hanging out with myself nothing was holding me back nobody was wanting something like I was just there by myself and I was completely content with it and it was really cool I bought everything that I wanted I ate everything that I wanted <laughs> this is like a new dynamic for me I I'm learning to be cool with my own presence like I'm learning to be okay by myself like I was always that kind of person I never really had a lot of friends and especially now this is the time for me to like actually heal the relationship with me that's why I had this entire thing happening for me and so you know what I'm realizing I actually like hanging out with myself and I'd rather hang out with myself than with you know some people that I barely know it's this concept of self-love that I'm starting to discover and I'm liking it a lot you know now that I'm driving home I'm kind of like processing especially I'm processing the safari one because that one is actually possible and I'm realizing like of course cool like Disney created an entire world like literally Disney World where it makes you escape from reality from your day-to-day -day, nine to five thing and experience something else but it's still fake like going to places like this just makes me want to experience the real safari you know what i mean wants me to experience the real everest wants me to experience the real world out there not just the disney world that's just kind of a fake represent a really good representation but really fake representation of what the reality actually looks like different countries different cultures different experiences different adventures is what I'm craving so badly and I honestly don't know what else to do with my life if not this obviously this year is going to be a little bit different because I'm preparing myself for that like I'm losing weight I'm getting my finances together all that fun stuff but after that like yeah I want to have all those experiences I was never that kind of girl that you know dreamt about her wedding or played family or wanted kids or anything like that like I'm not opposed to it of course like I want a family one day but it was never really a like oh my gosh I need to have it like ASAP and no it's like you know it's a part of life it's one of the experiences that I could choose but it was never the main focus for me it was never the main focus for me to get married it was never the main focus for me to have children but to travel and to have one in a lifetime experiences yeah that's what i want to do that's what i've been wanting to do this entire time so going through this silly disney world world just made me realize it even more